I'm Dr. Scott Saunders from naturaledoctor.com. Today we're talking about vitamins, minerals, and supplements. I have a patient who came into my office and she gets a magazine and each time that she gets the magazine she reads about a supplement in that magazine and she says I need that and she buys it. So when she came in to me she brought a list of all the supplements that she was taking and it was two pages long. She was taking over 60 supplements, over a hundred pills a day. I said, Hilda, what do you do all day? She says, I'm either reading about supplements or buying supplements or I'm organizing my supplements or I'm taking my supplements. And well, she was in her 80s, she was rather spry and she looked really good. But is it really necessary to take all those pills? Every time you read about a specific nutrient, you say, I need that. Is that really necessary? Most of our vitamins and minerals we can get from our food. There are really only specific ones that would be necessary, especially if somebody had a condition. Let me give you an example. Uh, someone who has neuropathy very often has a low vitamin B12. There's a lot of reasons for having low vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 is only absorbed in a very short area of the small bowel. And aside from that, the stomach has to make something called intrinsic factor to bind to the vitamin B12 in order for it to be absorbed properly. So if there's anything wrong with your stomach, including taking some drugs, for example, Prilosec will prevent you from making this intrinsic factor. Or if you have ulcers or gastritis, you won't make it. So it's very easy to be deficient in that. So if somebody has a deficiency, it, was, it is very important to take a supplement. However, if there's no deficiency, it isn't necessary for everything. Another example would be minerals. A lot of people think they have to take a whole bunch of calcium so they don't get osteoporosis. And often what they miss is that the calcium will inhibit the absorption of magnesium. So then they don't have enough magnesium, they can't use the calcium that they have, and they just form kidney stones and bone spurs. So it isn't necessary to take huge amounts of all these vitamins and minerals. What you really need is targeted supplementation for specific issues, health issues that you may have. Now, Dr. Scott Saunders, you've got a lot more to say about this, and unfortunately, we don't have you know the space on this video section, but what do people have to do to get the next section of this about vitamins and supplements? Well, we're gonna have to make more videos. If they click on the links below, then they'll be able to see a lot more specific information on That's all right. kinds of vitamins and minerals. And we've got the videos available, so all you need to do is just click on the link below and watch the next part of this video.